Hi, this is Jessica from Mama in a Stitch, and today I thought I'd show you how I crocheted this washcloth uh, for my daughter's bath. And it's made with a crochet, crochet stitch that creates a really kind of nubby texture, almost like a bubbly little texture, but it's so easy. And I love how the fabric turns out. I actually don't know the official name for this stitch, so if anyone knows once you see it done, uh, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know. So let's get started. So today I'm using a size H crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. For washcloths I always use 100% cotton and this is just some that I had laying around so I don't know the brand, but any 100% cotton will do. To begin, we're just going to chain in um, multiples of two, and for the washcloth, I would do about 24 stitches. So let's, I'm just going to do a small sample. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for row one, after we've chained our multiples of two, we're just going to single crochet across. Just like this. And if I make more washcloths, I'm going to use a G hook because I like a little tighter uh, fabric on my washcloths, but the H is fine as well. Okay, when we get to the end of the row, we're going to chain one and turn. For row two, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch or the second stitch from hook. And then we're going to make a treble crochet into the next stitch. So a treble is a lot like a double, but you wrap the yarn around twice. So one, two. And then pull through two. Pick up your yarn again, pull through the next two. And then pull through the last two. And then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and treble crochet into the next. Two, pull through the last two. Single crochet into the next stitch. And then treble through two. And then for the last stitch, we're going to single crochet. Chain one and turn. Okay, you can see the little bubbly texture starting. For the next row, on row three, we're just going to single crochet across the row. So after that row of single crochet, we just go back to our repeat of single crochet and treble crochet across the row, and you just repeat those two rows for the entire pattern. Single crochet, treble. Single crochet, Okay, and I'm just going to alternate those stitches all the way across. 
then the next row will be single crochet across the entire row. And that is what gives you this super fun fabric. Um, for the washcloth, you can just do a border of single crochet or whatever you like around the edging. I make mine about 9 inches long, so you would just continue crocheting until your piece is about 9 inches. Um, but I hope you enjoy this pattern. So have a great day!